Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Jeff Kanata. Ashley Esqueda is out sick today, so we send her our best wishes to get well soon, but I still got some headlines for you. Researchers at Stanford have introduced a new robot, and this one is focused on versatility. This robot is called the Stanford Climbing and Aerial Maneuvering Platform, or SCAMP for short. SCAMP flies like a drone, perches on vertical walls, adjusts itself if its perch starts to slip up, climbs walls, and then peels away from the surface to take off again. Spined feet give SCAMP the ability to grip onto rough surfaces like walls, and accelerometers and rotors work together to correct SCAMP's position as it climbs. The research team says they see SCAMP as a jumping off point for a family of perching and climbing robots of different sizes and use cases. This is particularly cool because SCAMP can access places that don't have any horizontal positions to land on. Uh, they showed rubble and kind of dangerous locations where you would want a drone to go into but may not be able to land anywhere because there's so much uneven surfaces. To be able to perch onto a sidewall, super cool. A Dutch parcel company has introduced a delivery service that will actually make your product while it's being delivered. Post NL consulted with 3D printing expert Joris van Tubergen to ship a box with nothing inside but an Ultimaker 2 3D printer that would create a trumpet while the box was on its way to its destination. They switched on the printer and sent it out for delivery to Holland's number one trumpeteer. And on arrival, he assembled the trumpet and was able to play it. Of course, this is an ad, so there's probably a little bit of finessing involved with the finished video, but it's still a pretty cool stunt, and we thought you might enjoy seeing it. First of all, I want to know if there's a lot of competition to become Holland's number one trumpeteer. And secondly, I think this is pretty cool. It kind of throws the whole idea of manufacturing and delivery all out of whack, but I do think it might be easier just to have your own 3D printer at home. Love to hear what you think about this stuff. You can always use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter to let us know what you're thinking. And if we like your shouts at us over Twitter, we'll use your comments on our long episode on Thursday where Ashley and I will hash out these stories. I think we're going to have to dive into this, uh, this 3D printing idea on Thursday. It sounds like a really good story. All right, now it's time for our photographer of the day. Today's photographer is Jared, who took this on his iPhone 5S. Jared writes, Hey guys, love you and your show. I took this shot with my old 5S while fishing in late September by a pond near my house. You can tell by the majestic geese flying in the picture. And I totally give you permission to use it on your show. What a beautiful shot, Jared. This is amazing. Yeah, you can see the geese there. Really beautiful with the, with the sun behind the clouds there. If you would like to be a photographer on our show, we'd love to get that from you. All you got to do is send it to us tomorrow at CNET.com. Make sure you tell us what device you use to take the picture. Give us a little story about what it is and give us permission to use it on the show. Find us on social media. We love hearing from you. We'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, Ashley will be back all healthy and ready to go. Uh, until that time, be good humans. Bye.